I'm going to show you how to install CHTK on your Digicam. CHTK stands for Canon Hack Development Kit. So as it says in the name, this is for Canon cameras only. So it doesn't work on Nikon, it doesn't work on Olympus, Sony, Fuji, it only works on Canon Digicams. CHTK has a lot of features that you can use. And the main feature, the main reason to install CHTK among other things, it allows you to shoot raw DNGs on your Canon Digicam. And that is amazing because right out of the box, these cameras are not really shipped with its full potential. I mean, every single camera can shoot raw, but the manufacturer doesn't allow you to shoot it because, you know, they, they want to limit the features for the consumer so that they can buy the, the better thing. But nowadays, a lot of years has passed and essentially a bunch of camera nerds have hacked and played around and tinkered with the Canon system. And they developed this amazing, beautiful program. I actually discovered CHTK through one of my favorite YouTubers who is called One Month to Camera. So thank you for that. Apart from shooting in raw DNG, there is a bunch of other features that I won't go through all of it today, but here's a list of all of the other features that CHDK offers. So for today, I'm going to use my only Canon Digicam, which is my personal a 710 is And yeah, let's do this. Okay, so first things first, you need a camera. Well, duh. And after that, you need a memory card. So I have my gigantic eight gigabyte card right here. And the first thing you need to do is actually format the camera. So let's do that right now. I'm just going to format this. So see here, come on, focus. There we go. So we are just going to format this right now. So go on here and then go all the way actually and it's right here format all right format erase everything there you go so now we're good there's nothing in the playback no images and turn off the camera and just pop out the memory card so now we put the memory card into your computer all right so here we are on my computer and we're just gonna go to chdk.fandom.com and click enter. And now, here we are. So this is the website and don't be too overwhelmed. I know it looks like a lot. I'm just gonna run you quickly through the simple methods as to how to install CHDK on your camera. So first of all, as you can see here, on the website, it shows what is CHTK and the features, the history and the news and all that. And on your right hand side, you can see all of the cameras that are compatible. Look at this huge, huge list. It even has subcategories of each camera. So first things first that I'm going to do is I'm going to find my camera, which is the Canon A710. And I'm just going to find it here, A710, right there. So instead of clicking the name, I'm going to click right here, 100A. And here you go. So it shows you a pretty good like method as to how to uh, download it and install it. But I'm just gonna make it quick for you right here. And uh, anyway, so now I'm just gonna go and scroll down until I can find the download button. All right, so here we go. The latest stable build one and click here. And I'm just going to find my camera again. All right, A710. So let's just see complete small. I'm gonna take complete. 
So A710 again and complete. So now just downloading it right here and it's very quick. It's a really small program to download. Just to let you know, this is a non-destructive installation. So it's not going to mess up with your camera. It's not, it's not going to like make your camera obsolete. As long as you follow these steps, you're going to be fine. And this is not a program that will alter the way your camera works. It's a program that you can activate it on and you can, you can choose to use it or not essentially. So let's go back here and we're just going to show in folder file and it's right here. So let's export this export file and we're going to export it in our root folder. So just right here and then okay. And now we're just gonna let it do its thing. Okay, so now we're done. And now let's go into here. Now we're just going to open this. What you're gonna do is you're just going to copy this, go back and paste it right here in the root folder. So let it do its thing. And then you can just delete that extracted file. And now you have this in your root folder. So now let's go and put it in the camera. I have my memory card right here. And now we're going to be putting it in the camera. So it the camera we go, oh geez in the camera we go. Okay. So now in order to activate it, I'm going to put my camera in playback mode. So on this camera, it will be right here. Okay. And now I'm just going to turn it on. And as you can see there, it turns on, but the lens doesn't extend. I'm going to click menu. Again, and I'm going to go all the way down to what is this firmware update. So I'm going to click that firmware update. And then you're going to update it to that one. So 1.0.1.1. So we're going to update it. And this is what it's going to do. There you go. So now you have Canon hack development kit installed on your camera. Now with CHDK installed, you can actually have the amount of battery left appearing on it, have more information, you have a whole new UI. And now I'm going to show you how to activate the RAW on it. In this camera specifically, I'm going to click this button here, which is the print button. So click here, and then we have the menu. So that means you have CHDK activated and now we're just going to click the what is this the menu right there and we're going to find a whole new menu system you have a bunch of stuff here what we're looking for is the dng okay so dng is right here in raw raw raw, raw. all right so we're going to click that raw and then here the first option, it's really hard to see, but the first option is save raw. Activate that. And then I'm just going to go all the way down to make sure that DNG format, which is at the bottom here is activated. So activated, everything is good. But the DNG crop size, I'm going to put it to full. And what else is there? Do do do. I'm gonna go back. Oh, one cool thing that I like to uh, keep that gives it a very vintage, uh, cool vibe, in my opinion, is I like to keep the dark frame. So now that you're using the DNG uh, for this camera, it actually records the whole sensor, which is really cool. It actually records a little bit even more than the sensor. So what that means is that you can actually have the dark frames, just like on a film strip, you can have the dark frames kept into the camera. 
So, so let's do this again here on the first one, enhancement, and then I go all the way down to, what is this, here. Dark frame subtraction. And currently it's on auto. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to turn it on. And I'll show you uh, some photo examples as to how it looks like. So that's that. And we're just going to press menu again. And there you go. Now you have DNGs right there. When you take a photo, there you go. So that photo taken was a DNG. And one last quick disclaimer. When you take a photo, as you've noticed, it takes a while for the camera to register it that does not correspond to the amount of time that the shutter is open. That's just because this camera was not meant to shoot raw, even though it can. It's just, it, it takes time for the sensor to process the amount of information going through. So it'll slow you down a little bit, but I mean, as a photographer, slowing down is a good thing. Anyway, so that's it. I'll show you some photos over the years that I've taken with CHTK and I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you guys soon.